Hey, your boy got you covered for this year's Thanksgiving, right? Today, we are making the creamy mashed potatoes and guess what? I'm gonna be doing my signature gravy. Let's get it. All right, so look, we finna go ahead and get started. Now, actually, just for the sake of time, you can see that I already cut these, right? But I'm finna take everybody back down memory lane. Check this out, folks. I'm not using no peeler. For one, they small, but we finna do it like grandma did. Remember that? She get her little paring knife, you know what I mean? And we just get our, she got her little bag, and then we just, you know, peeled old school. All right, you see how they come out? Look at my water. I done rinsed these a couple of times. You want it to come out clean like that. Now, we finna get rid of this. But I'm still taking everybody back down memory lane. Check it out. Got that bag, folks. You remember Big Mama used to have all that going on? Let me go ahead and address this part right here. I told you guys, any time that we use water, we always substitute here. This can get a little bit more on the expensive side, right? And it's really not that expensive, but when you think about this right here, it's better than bouillon. Look, this is that roasted chicken uh, base. You can just take the water, but because of this is the holiday, I'm gonna go ahead and put one of these in here also, right? So this is just like a couple of cups. You know what I mean? Then we are gonna go ahead and add a, like a heaping tablespoon that is better than bouillon. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna say like a heaping, you know what I mean? We just want that flavor. You see that right there? And don't forget, we got the regular chicken stock in here already. All right, so the, another thing is, if I hadn't said already, my seasoned cooks, you guys know this already, you wanna have your potatoes about the same size. You see like that? That's cool. You know why? Because we want them to be ready at the same exact time. You don't want none that need to stay in longer because if you got a fine nose, you're gonna overcook the rest and you're gonna make it like kind of mushy. You know what I mean? Even though we want it to be soft and creamy, right? So I'm just adding this in like this and this water right here, this works too. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna add a little water to it. Right, just a little bit. Now, I don't have to like really add no salt, right? Cause we put that better than bouillon in there. We already started with some chicken broth. So this is gonna be nice. When I tell you, look, we gotta go over the top cause it's the holiday. Actually, these are good. I don't care if it's January, February or March and it was the third, it doesn't make no difference. But this is what you wanna have folks. If you wanna turn out something nice that tastes great, that's over the top, like I always say, then this is the way. Now we put this over, you know, you put your lid on and we're gonna cook these, I guess, on high, probably for about 10 minutes. Okay, so these are ready. Just trust me, take a look at me right now. See how I got this toothpick? That's because I was able to, you know, just check them, make sure that it glides through, right? So now I'm gonna take my couple of pot holders. I got a colander in my sink, you know what I mean? And then uh, I'm trying to think, do I wanna save a little bit of that or not? Nah. Okay, folks, so look, you can see them. Look at the color of them. You know what I mean? It absorbs some of that, uh, you know, some of that mixture that we made, you know, that chicken stock and that, you know, better than bouillon. Now, while it's nice and hot, I'm getting ready to take, you know, just a butter knife. You know what I mean? And we just get it to go like this. We just let the heat, because we're getting ready to, you know what we're finna do, folks? So that we can just like look at it, right? And just see how soft it is. Just notice I hardly put any, you see that right there? That's what you want. You still want it to have some integrity, right? But you just want to work it in. I just like to break them all up right now because we got other ingredients to put in here. Now, when you take a look on the side of my board right here, look, what was right here was the butter. So I like to line my dishes out, you know, in the order that I'm gonna need them, right? So it was butter, sour cream, milk, salt, pepper, and a little Dijon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with this Dijon right now. I know some of y'all thinking like, Dijon? But look, this is why you come here, because AB always got something a little extra for everybody that sends it over the top, right? Sour cream, we come with this milk. I'm gonna put half of it in. A little salt, just sprinkle it like that. And then we're gonna come with a little pepper. All right, so now we just get in here like this. Heavy whipping cream, just a little bit, All right? I'm telling you, just use a little bit at a time, right? Because you can't take none out, but you can always add some to it. All right, so if you come in here and you take a look at that, you know what I mean? Uh, this is what I'm talking about, super. Hey, I can't say enough. I promise you, 
I don't have to tell you to come back, you coming back. You're gonna start making your mashed potatoes just like this. Now, for those of you guys who wanna use a blender, you know, like a hand mixer, you can do that. Make sure you do it on low. We don't wanna whip nothing up, right? But this right here is gonna be nice and creamy. I'm gonna put this on the stove and we finna do my thing. That's that gravy. All right, folks, so look, I'm gonna ask this question. Do we really need to have a recipe for this gravy? Especially if you've been watching me for a minute, you should have this memorized. Uh, I think so. You know why? Because listen, we acquire new people. We want to give them the confidence. So I'm going to show them how I do it. It's going to be so super simple. It's unbelievable. Now, it's going to start with this right here. This right here is my bacon fat. You guys should already have that. If you don't, I suggest you guys get yourself a pack of, uh, of uh, bacon and start rendering down and getting yourself some fat, right? So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to go. Sorry, y'all. Look, that's one teaspoon. It's okay if it's heaping. We making gravy, folks. That's two. And that's three. And I ain't finished here. It's the holidays. I did say that we trying to make a lasting impression, right? So when everybody come over here, we want to make them say, oh my God, who made that? Right? So close this up. I'm going to put this back here because this is going to be gone in a few minutes. Right? Now I'm gonna give me a little butter, just for, you know, we, we, we leveling up, folks. There you go. Once all this is melted, we're gonna move to the next step. You wanna get yourself a pan big enough, and the rest of these ingredients is gonna do it. Right off the back, you can just smell that aromatic that comes off as soon as that grease starts to melt. Mm. Okay, folks, look, we finna go in here and give you them visuals. You know what I'm saying? Look at that right there. See that shimmer? Ooh, it's starting to get right. You know what I mean? You want to have a little heat. I can feel it right here. We got a medium flame underneath the bottle. And look, we finna, oh, that's what we finna do. I'm gonna start with three tablespoons, right? We leave that like that. And I'm just finna go in here and cook and mix, right? Now listen, we gonna get a little bit of color from, you know, us cooking our roux. That's what we doing, folks. If you guys didn't know, for anybody that's new right here and you done heard that word roux, that's what we doing right now. We starting off like that. So now we gonna go ahead, notice the color. Like I said, I don't wanna like cook it all the way down, right? We just start adding our broth to it. I always say that, but really it's, you know, stock, broth, almost the same. You ask me, you wanna probably, when you're making this, I favor using, you know, stock. Okay, now notice the technique. Just a little bit at a time. Make you work a little bit more, you know what I mean? But you just wanna keep adding it a little bit at a time, right? All right, when I say season, Check to, take a look at this right here. Onion powder, garlic powder, right? That's for those of you guys that don't have this. This right here is my level up. A lot of you guys have it though, that's the A. What I'm getting ready to do is, I'm getting ready to sprinkle a little bit of this on here. This is where we gonna get some of that flavor, right? I got some other places we gonna get flavor from too. Check it out. Y'all know about this, the W sauce. So now, remember that heavy cream? Oh my goodness, folks. All my seasoned people, I know y'all want to know, like, where is this at? You Come on, you know I got that. Now, this stuff right here go a long ways, folks. Just a little bit here. Look at them small drops. That's it. Oh, let's see what kind of colors we can come up with. Okay, folks. <clears throat> now that we got everything together, now it's time for us to just put this out for everybody, right? Okay, folks, so look, you can see how I did it. I just put the, you know, gravy in here like that. You guys can do it this way so they can just scoop, scoop, and you know, be gone, right? But I can tell you this, when I put that gravy on there, that's still not gonna stop me from hitting it with that cranberry sauce too. Now, with that being said, listen, I'm gonna go ahead and just mess up the presentation. I'm just gonna put some of this on here like that. All right? Then we're gonna look at it and see. Uh, I'm greedy. We'll just look at it like this. Now I'll just go ahead and get me some gravy. And this is how I do it, right? I go up, over, push down on it like that, and then I just make a little cavity. You know what I mean? If you want to have something like pull off on the side, you guys can put it just there and let it drop down. You know, it's up to you. But that there will be how I look on my plate. Okay, folks, look, it ain't no need playing with it, nothing like that. I'm going to go ahead and hit this 
so y'all can see it's fire by the way now this right here is fire folks I don't really have nothing to say. If you look at it, there it is. Now don't forget, I got that new website, right? This way you can go to my website, which is Smoking and Grilling with AB, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? Listen, now I got the recipe written down and the instructions for those that need it, and it's printable. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think. Let's engage down in the comment section below. Don't forget, I got you covered for anything that you need for the holidays as far as the knives go. Everything is on the website. Got the code for you guys to get down and do things early. Hey, with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, we're going to do it like this. Listen, we're going to like, subscribe, and tell everybody about this channel, right? And with that being said, listen, I got to eat, folks. Guess what? I'm out. Peace.